Okay, today's video, we're talking about the buy with Prime button that you can get uh, partnering with Amazon. What this is, is if you don't know what it is already, it's a button that you could put on your e-commerce website, Shopify website, whatever you're using. For to run your e-commerce site to get people or give people the option to go directly from your product page to Amazon to check out without paying any referral fees and of course have them be able to get the product in two days which is the buy with prime part but instead of checking out through your website, they just click on this button that says buy with Prime that you put like right next to your checkout button on your product page. And, it, and so instead of checking out on your site, they'll check out on Amazon's site. And the general reason why you would do this is, there's several reasons. A big part of it is if you are gonna do it and where it is gonna make sense financially for your business, is when you don't have a lot of trust already from your customer base and or there's not a lot of trust from people in your business niche in general or your website isn't built up to the point where it's like as good as the competition would say in terms of trustworthiness when looking at it because people judge a book by its cover you can gain a lot of trust just by having them check out through amazon itself that you see so you borrow reputation and trust from Amazon if you will because sometimes it costs in a niche to have you might have to spend 50 grand on a website well you aren't there yet and so the Amazon get kind of bridges that trust gap so anyway you can actually increase the conversion rate as we found already with our clients at our firm 8 to 25 percent in terms of the conversion rate on the traffic you got that hits your product page by having just by having the buy from prime button but obviously it cuts into your product margins because there's a three percent fee that you still have to pay to have your orders processed by Amazon but it's a hell of a lot less than the typical average 15 percent that you're gonna pay if you were just sending them directly to Amazon already which in and itself would also increase conversions, but it eats into your margin so much, most people can't actually do it because Amazon's raised their fees too much. And with the f high of fees is that they have now, sending them to Amazon like that isn't gonna make sense. Even by the way, if you sign up for their affiliate program to try to cut off 4% of that 15%, it's still not tolerable by most people, uh, so to say. So. Anyway, with all that said, there's some best practices here. I'm also going to give you some case studies where we actually did this for different markets, i.e. added the uh, buy with prime button to the client's websites or they added it themselves and saw what the difference in conversion rates were before and after and like what the increase in conversion rate was. In short, I haven't seen it decrease the conversion rates and the, depending on what niche it was, it increased the conversion rates by different amounts, all of which didn't lose money by the time you had to pay the Amazon fee, but it really worked in some markets and not really worked. You know, almost a wash in terms of the fees you have to pay that cuts into your margins and others. So, I'll, and I'll explain what that is and, and what those are and everything. So, with all that said, though, I'm going to start with a, a quick overview and then I'm going to get into those numbers. So, the Buy with Prime button. Like I said, it's a special program Amazon has that is stealing a bit, it's actually stealing business away from Shopify to get more customers to the platform. So they're pretty smart. They realize nobody, just like I was touching on before, that uh, nobody wants to send traffic to Amazon with as much as they've raised their fees to have this 15% re you know, referral fee in a, in, on average, that nobody wants to do that even though people would like to send people to Amazon because certain people have an Amazon account and they just really like to buy from Amazon because they don't have to put in all their credit card information again and their billing information again. It's a lot smoother process, a lot, lot, lot less labor intensive process than having to do all that again on another site. But the fees are so high that it's it just doesn't make sense. When you got to pay for advertising and then you got to pay, you know, of course, 
is referral fee. The math doesn't work out. So they started this buy with Prime button, charging 3%. Now people are, because it does increase conversion rates, it does make sense to send traffic to Amazon for the people that want to prefer, want to and prefer, want, prefer to check out through Amazon and can give them that option. You don't just only give them that option, which you technically could. I haven't seen that work next necessarily yet, but you add it as a second option to ordering on your site and uh, you know it, it pays for itself because it increases conversion rate and um, ultimately every single person that goes through this uh, buy with Prime button isn't going through shop pay, right? And so Shopify is losing money with everybody that's going to use this buy with Prime button. So get in with while well, the getting's good. With and when the it's uh, you know five years from now, more people using it. I don't know if the buy with Prime button is going to increase your conversion rates 15% like it is now. I would think it's going to do it anyway, but. You know, for now in 2023, it is increasing your conversion rates a good chunk, enough to where sending a portion of the traffic that wants to check out through Amazon and get Prime, and have Prime, they can do it. Um, <clears throat> so many like the actual stats. I I didn't look it up prior to the video, but I think five to ten percent of people have uh, Prime, Amazon Prime. I'd like to look that up. But, uh, and the people that are normally buying online products, they pretty much all, all have an Amazon account. And then it's just a matter of if they have Prime or not. And if they don't have Prime, it's not like they can't get it when they check out on your website. So anyway, um, which the button allows you to do, of course, uh, as a part of the sequence they take you through. Anyway, so it's taking business away from that shop pay and, the, and people having to go through Shopify uh, billing system, if you will. Now, that said, there's some, so there's pros and cons to this Shopify uh, buy with, or excuse me, the Amazon buy with Prime button, okay? So the drawbacks are you don't own the customer. That's the one thing I've mentioned on this channel several times, why you shouldn't just build your whole business on Amazon. Because first of all, they can raise the fees and then right away your margins are less and you can do nothing about it or they could just decide they don't want you or, or they could compete with you directly as they have done many times in the past. But the bigger thing is you don't own the customer and if you're in a business that relies on a lot of repeat business, your business isn't worth much when Amazon owns all your customers, right? Obviously it makes money but they own your customers and if they want to re recommend somebody else to them, they can and you can't actually go ahead and you know send a mail you know direct mail pieces in the mail to, you know to your so-called house list of customers and so forth so i just think it's you're building a shitty business that way uh even though there's some ways to mitigate that and actually um own the customer even though they're going through the buy, buy with prime button and getting to amazon and to where you can get the increase in conversion rate by having the buy from Prime button on your website and still have the customer's information and you and how and so that you can deal with them directly. So you don't have this drawback at all, basically. I'll explain that in a minute how that's done. The other drawback, of course, like I said before, is you're paying 3% to Amazon of the purchase price to do this or use this, in addition to the credit card processing fee in addition to any fulfillment fees itself. But the fulfillment fees, fees, you know, if you're running a business, unless it's a pretty big business where you're doing like 5 million plus a year, Amazon's gonna be able to, as far as I've seen for most of our clients, ship cheaper than you're gonna be able to hire employees and ship yourself. Um, or of course, unless you're doing it, you're like a solo business where it's just you and of course it's taking your time and and you could do it cheaper, but you obviously your time's worth something. Anyway, so those are the main drawbacks. Now the benefits are much greater here, okay? First of which being is that the most important thing here is that, that buy from Prime button being on your website is, adds a ton of trust to your brand. You're, you're borrowing trust from Amazon. And if they don't quite trust you or whatnot, just the fact that you 
can buy it on Amazon makes them trust the product in and itself more. And if they don't trust giving their credit card to you, they don't have to, they can go give it to Amazon. And uh, for small, cheaper, one-off type purchases that are like 20, 30 bucks, people don't want to give their credit card to a new company all the time. You could give it, you know, say you could get it on Amazon from your, from the site. That's something that will, a lot of people times just push them over the edge because they don't want to give your credit card out to a new company they don't know of yet how, the, you know, and how it's like dealing with them just for a $20 item. Anyway, so that, that's the first thing. Second thing is it adds speed. Of course, buy from Prime. Buy with Prime, that's two-day delivery. The fact that they can get it two days versus three to five days from you, anymore, I hear it from my clients all the time. People wait to the last fucking second to buy shit. And then they want it tomorrow. People are really, really spoiled because of Amazon now. And when you can't give what Amazon offers in terms of two day, which there's second 3PL services out there where you could ship your products to a couple of fulfillment centers on each coast and they'll let you, without using Amazon, have two day delivery. But people are just expecting two day delivery now uh, in 2023. And uh, you don't have to have that drawback because what people will do is they'll say, how fast, they'll call, and they'll say, how fast can I get it? Can I get it to, uh, you know, by Wednesday when it's Monday today or whatever? And you'll, they'll say no, and they say, okay, I'm gonna call somebody else. Well, those orders, you lose all those orders if you can't get it shipped in two days, which is why the conversion rate goes up also. It's not just the ad of trust and not having to give a credit card out to a, another foreign company, but also you get the two day that everybody basically wants and uh, would prevent them from just going to Amazon because they might just want the two day and that was the deal breaker, if you will. Anyway, the third reason, third benefit you get from the buy from Prime is, I touched on this before, it reduces fulfillment costs. So if you're in that kind of middle zone, which in e-commerce, it makes no sense running an e-commerce e business where you're in that shitty middle. What I call it the shitty middle, where you're between you could run it yourself and you don't have a company big enough where you're doing like 5 million a year in sales because you can't hire a good efficient team and have good efficient processes to get orders out in a cheap, reliable manner. So in that case, I'm getting Amazon to fulfill all my stuff because they're going to be able to do it cheaper or better, easier than I'm going to be able to do it, you know, with a, with a small bit of funds. When I get over 5 million in revenue a year, I can hire, you know, dedicated shippers, first of all, a good manager and equipment that's going to make sending out packages. I'll have an assembly line built out to get the packages out and it'll be efficient and I can do it cheaper than Amazon at that point. Everything you do up to that point is just reinvesting your money to get to that point. Once you reach 5 million a year, that's generally where good profit margins come in because you got scale. Anyway, well, in the meantime, for Amazon, you know, the packages that you, you know, of course, there's a the draw. I should have added a drawback before saying, because you have to ship your your goods to Amazon, then they ship it to the customer. Well, that shipping it to Amazon is an extra cost, so that technically is a drawback. But they're, it's probably offset by the fact that they can ship out your products cheaper than you could ship them out, being not a huge company yet. So there's that benefit. Four reduces friction. So I mentioned before how people don't want to give a credit card out to a new company they don't know yet a lot of times. And it might just, because of that one reason alone, make them want to go to Amazon itself to buy from somebody or a bigger company that they've heard of before. Well, typing in all their credit card information, all their billing information, that takes time. And for a lot of people, you don't recognize it a lot of times, but it's a lot of older people, I laugh at it still, like my parents, you know, they're in their 70s. And when I see them type, they type with one finger. Mm, 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 mm. That takes them a long time to type in all their billing address and their That like might take them 20 minutes to do. That is a lot of hoping and praying nothing goes wrong in that amount of time. It's much easier 
to just click buy from Prime, they go there, all their shit's saved, they're done. So that's the other reason why you're gonna increase your conversion rate, eight to 25%, as I mentioned at the start of this video. So, which going into the, you know, the benefits, uh, eight to 25% increase in conversion rate is your, typically what you're gonna, as we found, you can expect adding, just by adding the buy from Prime button to your website, okay? There technically is, Another benefit here, which is an increase in organic traffic. So one of the beauties of not selling on Amazon, but having your website is, is because on your website, you can get organic traffic to your website and then they can check out on Amazon still, right? But because you're sending some traffic to Amazon to buy, if you got your store set up right there, you'll get organic traffic from Amazon too. So you can get more organic traffic on Amazon sending some traffic to Amazon to check out. So that's a small side benefit. But um, where the main, in to where, you know, so I mentioned you get like eight to 25% on average increase in conversion rates on your product pages if you got the buy from Prime on there. Depending on niche, it'll be so, you know, it might be eight, it might be 25. You're gonna get the higher range of this basically as I found if you're in niches uh, where, I meant to say uh, trust here. Uh, if you're in a niche with low trust, like in, you're selling supplements, adding the buy from Prime button it will increase your conversion rates closer to the 25% than the 8%. If you're in a niche with lots of trust, people just automatically trust what you have to say, you're gonna get somewhere closer to the 8% than the 25% because the main benefit with this is the added trust that they could just buy it from Amazon. They don't have to give you anything. And they obviously go to Amazon, they see your reviews there, they trust the Amazon reviews, they don't trust your reviews on your site. So that kind of tells you about what you can benefit from this up front. Obviously this eight to 25% though comes with the cost and adding this 3% extra fees to or the, or, what, take 3% out of the revenue that you're getting. And obviously the average business out there, the e-commerce businesses out there, have a 40% gross margin. So 60% goes to just the pro cost of the product and then the 40% is your profit margin when you make a sale, right? Well, Amazon's doing taking 3%, that takes, um, you know, basically around 8% of your margin on the 40% you have left. So if your conversion rate doesn't increase at least 8%, it doesn't make any sense to do this because the added fees that you're going to pay, it's not offset by enough by anything to pay the extra 3%. So if you could get over 8% additional increase in conversion rate by having the buy from Prime button on your site, it makes up for not having that extra 3%, if you will. So, but it, like I said, it is worth it on the title because the typical conversion rate is more than what you need to offset that 3% extra fee you're gonna be paying for the people that check out through Amazon. And so with that said, we found in some businesses sending people on paid ads from Google even or Facebook ads even, sending them directly to an Amazon listing will work better than sending them to a site. It just depends on what it is. That, we don't do that very often at all, but sometimes that'll be more profitable than sending them to a website. Um, but the best of both worlds there, if you're in a situation or in a market where that kind of looks like it might work better, you could send ad traffic to a landing page that has the buy with prime button on it and actually end up doing even better than just sending them to Amazon. Why is that? Well, because there's no referral fee. Normally you can't do that anymore. We used to do it more back in the day, but you can't do it now because the referral fees are so high, like 15% of the sale you're not gonna make money sending them to Amazon to check out there after paying the cost of the ad spent. It doesn't work. But now that you could send them to a landing page, and even though they would have converted at a very high rate having 
that they don't want to give you your credit card. They want to check out through Amazon. They want to see the Am they want to see the reviews on Amazon. You can have a landing page that right away says, "We got this many reviews on Amazon. Check out on Amazon now. Buy with Prime. Click on this button to buy buy with Prime and get it shipped to your door in two days." And basically, get all the the stuff that would make it convert better than your website, right? But they get to your website so you can capture their details before they go to Amazon and you don't have to pay the extra 50% referral fee. So I like the landing page that basically pitches them checking out on Amazon right away but not sending them to Amazon because you don't have to pay the referral fee and you can remark it to users. So if they get to the landing page and they don't go to Amazon to check out, we can remark it to them until they are ready to check out. And going back to this right here, you don't own the customer, which is the reason why I don't like building businesses on Amazon. If it's gonna make a site convert better, send it them to Amazon, or make it, if a customer's gonna convert much, much better, send it them to Amazon, what we'll do is send them to a landing page that right away pitches to, to buy it on Amazon, specifically buying with Prime. So we're paying 3% to Amazon, not 15%. And there'll be a button that says, you know, buy from Prime or whatever. And there's actually logic you can build, which I don't think Amazon likes this very much, but uh, you can have it to where when somebody goes to click on the buy from Prime button, before they get routed to Amazon there through the link, you can have a pop-up that says, before you go, uh, as the first step, please give us your email address. And then when they, hit the, when they enter their email address and click submit, then it sends them to Amazon where that buy with, buy with Prime button was supposed to take them. We used to do this all the time back in the day when we wanted them to buy on Amazon so that we would still get the customer's information so that when we want to sell something to that customer in the future, the re-up, what they bought, or cross-sell them, upsell them, whatever, we already had their email address that Amazon in itself won't give us. Now we don't have this drawback at all of not owning the customer anymore. And uh, of course, we could set up a remarketing audience. So if they go to click on the Buy from Prime button, there's a way with Google Analytics that if they click on that button, that can be its own remarketing list. So basically, we don't know if they actually checked out or not for sure. If they clicked on the buy from Prime, uh, buy with Prime button, but we can assume that they checked out, and at least remarketing to everybody who hits the landing page, we can remarket to everybody who hits the buy with Prime button, and have a much more refined list that we pretty much can assume are, are all customers. So that later on, we want to offer a, like a customer appreciation offer to all the people that went to buy from us, buy from us, which they bought. You know, or at least should I say all the people that uh, bought on Amazon, we could do that, which is one of my favorite things to kind of run. You, if you got a lot of repeat customers, you take all the customers, you have a remarketing list with just your customers, and then you have a customer appreciation sale, 20% off for St. Patrick's Day, good for this month only. And then you get a lot of the people that you know, ultimately might reorder, but you're increases the chance you're increasing the chances that they will reorder from you putting that offer out there and not get snatched up by somebody else the next time they need to reorder something if you will it reorder in your category or because ultimately they may forget about you somebody else gets them if you get them before you know if you start if you actively market to them you're going to get more out of that customer than if you were just waited up for them to come back on their own so anyway We'll set up a remarketing audience for all the people that click on the buy from Prime button and then use that to our advantage uh, as well. So we'll have a remark, we'll remark to people that got to the landing page but didn't click on buy from Prime, but then also do separate things, separate ads for people that just bought, uh, clicked on the buy from Prime button. Anyway, I like this model here uh, itself. It, it, it works in a lot of different markets, like in the supplement space where people don't have a lot of trust in that space or we could send them to the page, landing page, and just tell them, hey, we really just want you to buy on Amazon. Here's our reviews there. You can click on this to buy from Amazon directly and then capture their email up front and then remarket to them 
uh, if they did not buy from Amazon. So anyway, going into the case studies here, that's exactly what we did. In, we had a supplement company that sold brain supplements. And we found in this space that we were able to increase the traffic or increase the conversion rate on the traffic to that landing page we had for it after adding the buy from Prime by 17 additional percent. So in that market worked extremely well. That great, obvious, what, more than enough uh, made up for the 3% extra we had to pay to get them to process, uh, check out through Amazon. And so, and with that, it was just what I just told you here in, th in this market. If you sell uh, supplements, you need to send them to a landing page that they could check out through Amazon uh, with the buy from Prime button and uh, do what I said, get their email before they leave. I, that's a great technique to maximize what you're doing here. But, um, you know, just having them check out on the website and then adding the fact that they could check out Amazon with this buy from Prime button, which we couldn't just send them to Amazon to check out before because the fees are so high now, we can't pay the 15% referral fee sending them to, letting them go to Amazon to check out. We had to get them to check out on their website. But now that we have the buy from Prime option, which is only 3%, it made sense to now offer them to let them check out on Amazon. And we got a 17% increase in conversion rate allowing them to go to Amazon to check out. So that works really great in that market specifically. And uh, we'll do it in any other time where we're doing supplements, I would just go to that exact model. Second one we did was in the mailbox space. Now to contrast this, we've got an 8% increase in conversion rate. These are high end like luxury mailboxes. We got an 8% increase in conversion rate to our product or on our product page offering the buy from Prime button there. Why is that? Well, there's not a, it's not an issue or people trust you when you're selling a mailbox, not unlike what they do with the supplement. So there's not a whole lot of value there that you're borrowing too. There's no, there's not a lot of value in the trust that you're getting from Amazon and tying that to your product, so to say. So whereas you had to pay 3% to get them to, to Amazon to offer that buy from Prime button on your site, it almost doesn't make it worth it to pay that 3%, but it still does, the math works out. And at least in this, if, it, if I only had 40% product margins, it wouldn't be worth it to just get an 8% increase in conversion rate. This margins on this product was over 40%, so it still didn't make sense. So anyway, you just need to run, run your numbers. What is your margins? Find out what your increase in conversion rate is, and then do the math to see if the 3% pays off or it don't. The other market we had where we did this already was in the surf supplies markets. They sell surfboards and surfing supplies and accessories and all that kind of stuff. And in this market, we had an 11.5% increase in product page conversion rates when we added the buy with prime button to their site on all their product pages. So, so in this one, it was kind of in the middle. I mean, there's a little bit of lack of trust in that space. It's not like buying a mailbox, but it's also not buying supplement, brain supplements. So as you can see here, there's a kind of a range where this goes. You could get 8%, 10%, 15%, 20%. Just kind of depends on what market it is. And you'll have to just see what the before and after doing it. So instead of just blindly doing it, see what your conversion rate is before, add it, see how much it increases conversions then factor that into what you're paying that you know to get the uh, the 3% fee to Amazon and of course if you're a big company and you're doing fulfillment yourself and you have to pay Amazon for fulfillment you have to obviously factor that in as well but it does increase conversion rate the question is does it increase it enough to justify the additional fees you have to pay them to be able to do it um, <clears throat> and the lesser also the other situations where this would probably work better on average, or should I say I know it will work better on average to get, to get you a higher increase in conversion rate than others, is in markets where the product price is less. The less the product price is, we've noticed, the more likely somebody's gonna want to check out through Amazon because they don't wanna give a credit card out to a company where they're spending $15 or they're less likely to than somebody they're spending $1,000 with. This is just, it just correlates together. So if you're t selling a cheapo, cheapo product, you're 
sending them to Amazon as much as you can, that's probably going to get you the best bang for your buck. Because if it's an expensive product, then they're more than likely going to contact you first before they buy, which they get trust talking to you that way. And then they're not as, you know, they're less likely to want to or need to, should I say, to go to Amazon to check out to feel comfortable doing business with you. See how this kind of works together. So depends on how trust the people, how, how trusting they are in your niche in general. And then of course your product pricing on how much, what, what, rate, what end of this eight to 25% increase in conversion rate range you should be on. But with that said, I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and saw a lot of value in it. If you liked the video, I would appreciate giving the video a like and consider subscribing as I have a ton of other advice on this channel on how to make money with online advertising specifically, as I manage several dozen PPC campaigns at any given time on Google and Facebook and so forth. And I give you the actual active advice that we're using to guarantee results for our... Giving you the active advice that we're using to guarantee our clients' results. So if you basically you want to know the, the real and what's actually out there working today will make you money and how to specifically do it, this is the channel for you. It's the best advice you're going to find on YouTube to get that exact information. If you like the channel here, by the way, you can see my blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog, which has other methods we're using to guarantee results on our own clients' campaigns here from myself personally. So if you like the channel, you'll love the blog as well. And if you're looking for somebody that's just the absolute best at PPC that manages PPC campaigns that you can actually hire. I manage PPC campaigns for a living. This is all I do. I also guarantee all the results to the clients, to clients that I work with. Uh, and what that specifically means is I can guarantee so much results for a client when we start up every time. In that, if you're making five grand a month now, I got to make take you to ten grand or so with the same ad spend before I take any fees. I don't do it for everybody, but I do it for quite a few. If you want to see if I can do that kind of thing for you where you have to pay me nothing up front so I can find a way to develop a relationship with you that, you know, as a business owner or manager, reach out to me. I'll look at your stuff. I'll estimate how much more results I can get you on your campaigns up front before we would charge you any fees at all and if we can do that for you. But uh, there's only one way to find out. you got to contact me at guaranteeppc.com for me to look at your stuff, and then we can have a chat. So I encourage you to do that. But I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you on my next video where we have another great PPC strategy for you there. See you later.